Hi, it's Trinity the Tuck Taylor from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9, and I'm here to give you some tips, tricks for your tucks. Well, I do declare. Hey guys, it's Blair St. Clair from RuPaul's Drag Race, and I am so excited to see you at RuPaul's Drag Con in New York City this September 28th, 29th, and 30th. Make sure that if you haven't already to get your tickets at rupaulsdragcon.com so I can see you at my booth. Better check me out because it's going to be major. And make sure that you check out my album, Call My Life, on iTunes today. I got the name The Tuck from one of my really close drag queen friends back in Alabama who was very jealous of my tuck. She was. She was, she was not good at it. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna start calling you the Tuck. And she announced me on stage one night as Trinity the Tuck and it just stuck. I am good at tucking because I have a very small penis. Very small. Other than that, I've just been practicing a very long time. So you guys are probably familiar with my tucking tutorial on my YouTube channel at Trinity Taylor. We don't need the wee wee crying or try to give yourself a sex change. Leave that to the professionals, okay? Some of you had some more questions, so let's answer those. And just to tell you how it's done. Naturally, when I was a young lady, before my balls dropped, you have a place in your body that your uh, equipment naturally sat. So you just basically put them back where Mother Nature nestled them in the beginning, like two cute little eggs in a basket. And then afterwards, you pull the worm. <laughs> the worm goes back in between your hamburger bun, which I should be like working for Food Network or something. <laughs> and you use a lot of duct tape to hold everything back gently. It's like, caressing it, but with sticky adhesive plastic material tightly wound back. Don't ever let another drag queen help you, because nine times out of 10, they're only looking for themselves. You need help? You want to make your tuck pretty tight, but not too tight. The tuck can't be too tight, because if you have it too tight, the tuck will What's something that rhymes with T? Tingle and tear. But it's gonna feel weird, it's gonna feel tight, it's gonna feel uncomfortable. And then all of a sudden, the next time you try it, it's just magic, it's just, they just go there. It's like, you know, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Done this before, a couple of times. Time to take a nap. The first time I ever tucked, I swear I was in the bathroom for at least 30 minutes trying to figure this out. And it was not pretty. The end result looked like a ham and beef sandwich that had been overstuffed and spilling out on the sides. It was just... Mm -mm. I just don't think the first time I ever tucked, I knew what I was doing. And the person that was showing me how to tuck didn't know how to tuck. Let's just say they were very blessed. That's a huge I don't think they knew how to tuck like a normal person. And... When I say normal, I mean like micro PP. Nevertheless, the more you practice, the better you get. A first timer mistake is not trimming or shaving down below. I had a really close friend, the first time they ever taped, they were all natural, taped, and when I tell you we were booked two hours away from our house the whole entire drive home, he's in the back seat slowly ripping it off and it sounded like Chewbacca ripping off a Band-Aid, bitch. <laughs> so please shave, you will be much happier, I promise. What happens when you get aroused? You don't. You have your balls inside of you, your dick between your ass cheeks, you're wound tight with duct tape, in drag, in heels, in a wig, corseted, with people yelling at you, you're not gonna get aroused. And if you do, you're weird. Your body has natural functions that have to happen, like going to the bathroom, peeing. For my case, either hold it, or you just have to do the process all over again, <laughs> which once you're out of it, your body is just screaming that you're gonna put them through the mutilation again, but 
my body is 90% plastic, so I just don't feel it anymore. There is something called testicular torsion. Siri, what's testicular torsion? When a man's testicles become twisted, cutting off the flow of blood to the testicles, prolonged testicular torsion can result in the death of the testicle itself. <gasps> You're all gonna die. The tuck is going to kill you. So be careful. So the speed at which to take the tuck off, you want to gently, slowly remove front to back, cradling the balls a little bit, a little bit. Hopefully they're kind of sweaty. That'll help a lot, I promise. Get those nuts away from my face. So how do you get your eggs out of the basket, you ask? Well, you just let them fall down. They're gonna come out just naturally back into the sack. And if they don't, go to the ER. If you have the problem that a lot of drag queens on Drag Race have with a meaty tuck, just conceal it. You know, put some fringe there, you know, some cotton balls. Just don't display it. So when your tuck pops on stage, what do you do? Well, bitch, you get the fuck out of there. You bow and... <laughs> One day you're in, the next day you're out. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you're gonna hate your life. And if your balls are still inside of you, seriously, go to the ER.